No weapons, no problems. Samuno Belmont's going to be taking on three stages in Vampire Survivors, Beswick Challenge. And it will be pretty dang easy and successful. Thanks for watching and keep messing around. No weapons, no problem. Thank you for messing around on the Vampire Survivors Beswick episode, whatever episode this is. I have sealed off every weapon I can, and we will be doing good old Samunda Belmont elsewhere. Sure, it breaks the third wave rules, but it's my series. I can do whatever I want. And what better way to do it than Dairy Plant, one of the hardest levels in the game. And I do need it to stay on inverse. Okay, dokily, what do we want? Yes, get hard of fire. I know I. I need to grab all the bandages I can. No weapons means no weapons, it doesn't mean no damage. Alrighty. Now let's keep banishing these weapons ASAP. Wow, candy box right off the bat. Well, I can skip that, so it's fine. Banish you, firearm. I don't need you. I don't need anything. Luck. That affects its spawn. This does literally nothing for me. I gotta make that heart of fire bigger. What else am I gonna get the benefit of? Nothing? Absolutely nothing. Oh, well. Alright, there's power ups going on like mad. Armor is on the map, so I don't need it. Oh, that's not, not a grenade. Not a grenade at all. Wings are on the map. No banish. Alright, barrier there, then a grenade. Uh, uh, crown. And a grenade! Yeah, a grenade! And. Samundo, Belmont, strongest character in the game. No chance, that's what they've got. Round it up. Alright, Simundo, what do you got? Yeah, that was lucky. And it's not on the map, and it does damage, which we want. In desperate amounts. Alright, time to head over to Wings. Simundo's gonna fly, and he's gonna burn, he's gonna destroy everything. Oh, blade crossbow. I do not need you at all. Look at that damage goo up. My bloodline is ridiculous. Empty tome. In rare circumstances, completely pointless. Yeah, just walk into them, destroy them all. Our tier Jisu does have use, huh? I mean, one revive should work, right? I mean, what else would I even pick up? The crater doesn't do anything. It would only be Torona's box. Right, Candle is on the map. Oh, well. This is not a really serious, gonna be hard one. Nothing with Divine Bloodline is ever gonna be that hard. Okay, right, let's grab them wings. Watch these dang enemies fall apart instantly. Surprisingly little in the way of outright the witch McCallits. Yeah, the weapon pickups aren't spawning in all that well. So really? More shots to shoot. Alright, hold off on Hollow Heart as long as possible. That way you get the maximum health bonus from it. Yeah, look at that damage go on. They aren't gonna survive that for much longer. I take anything. Why did I do that instead of making it something valuable? A grenade. Yeah. Oh, an NFT. Oh, from a deal. Hmm. 
Extra passive weapon. Extra passive weapon. Well, it doesn't do damage, but I said no weapons. I didn't say no damage. What did I even grab from it? Probably Tyrone's Bucks. Ah, oh, now that's a tricky wicket there. It doesn't take a weapon slot. Like Laurel or anything. Oh yes, I will grab it. Dun, 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 dun. See, my choices are Pomrola or Tyrone's Box. Damage or survivability. I will choose the worst option. Hey, barrier. That was a little fast Penta. Or triple. Triple. Try Opal. Yep, they are holding up to that level of damage. It's only going to get worse for them. So much worse. Blow them up. Get that heart of fire going. Damage is ultimately limited. I mean, if I'd gone Boogle Illusions, but... Well, then I wouldn't have gotten Divine Bloodline or Heart of Fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's another grenade. Nice. Yeah, knock that minecart out with retaliation damage. Ooh, this is looking a bit dicier than I thought it would be. Perhaps armor should have been my first pickup. Well, I have no regeneration aside from getting random events. Seems unlikely. Oh, grenade. That's another huge chunk of XP. Ooh, what was that? Oh, level of hollow heart. Oh, it's a level. Man, they're going through thousands of HP pretty quickly, all things considered. I will not be getting cursed. That would be a very bad move. Is already looking out pretty low scorn. Alright, uh, Metaglio offers less health. So get that. Oh, grenade. Let's see. I won't. Gonna have to worry about Stalker, even if he does show up. Someone was pretty dang fast. Bye bye, Metal Claw. You're really good. Alright, how much health do you give me? Oh, what? no, they aren't surviving. That was weird looking. Oh, Candy Box. Oh, Candy Box. Health by 20, which is very helpful. That's definitely more than Metaglio, so Metaglio first, then Hollow Heart when I'm at the absolute maximum health I can have before I get it. But yeah, I need Silver Ring still. It does do area. Oh, yay. These will add so little health, but it doesn't matter. It's health, and I am in desperate need of it. Don't run into the Atlantean. That's the worst possible option I could have. Uh, Sirbande and, you know, Awake are the ones that we'll be going for. As for later, I'm going to be trying the same thing on all three, though, with different Arcana setups. Oh, nice. Oh. I don't have that many gems, considering. Still, there might be a few I miss. Shut up, phone. Right, Tract Orb is good orb. Oh, right, they're gonna bum rush me endlessly, huh? Ooh, that's a lot more damage than that. Uh oh. Oh, there's all the levels coming up for me. And Arcana Boss should be showing up right about now. Yeah, max health 5%, so. Da -da. Oh, well. Oh, wait, it wasn't Hollow Heart. That was a surprise. There's Arcana Bat. Gotta get you so I can get Cerebonde. 
or anything else. Man, they're hitting hard, huh? I'm a thinking that going after the armor would have been a good pickup. All right, as much as I can before I get that hollow heart. As much as I possibly can. Hey, rosary. Thought I was a rosary, I guess not. Hey, and I saved a level. No, oh, it's barrier. But in some ways, they look similar. Always floor chicken. Yay, Arcana. Fair bond day time. Or, but I have floor chicken. Perhaps Fair bond day is not the right option in Wake is. Oh, candy box. No. I want you. I want you at all. Okay, Sarabande does not get the benefit of Might. It is sheer based on the damage from your recovery. It is terrible in this circumstance because I didn't pick up the Rolla. Well, switched out King Labrador for Rolla. That would have been the intelligent move. Uh oh. Nope, Stalker. I got no business with you. Huh, they're not actually getting that many hits because they're getting knocked back by Sarabande so effectively. Okay. Not gonna get anything from this chest. Why am I bothering with it? Yeah, level ups. Our health. I can't wait till we can limit break passive weapons. That would be dumb. Hey, Silver Ring. I'll make the explosions bigger. Now I can get this chest. It's valuable. Because it gives me something helpful. One more level of silver ring. And sadly, this is still going to be more levels than other characters we're getting on Neo Galaga. I'm at 10k. Yep, definitely gonna try it out with Wicked Season. And at poorly, I'm gonna do it. It's been pretty okay. Could be worse. Could be better. Alright, more Logans for that explosion race. That's something to take over awake. Oh, hey, double Atlantean. Just Umrola spawned in. Wow. That's some incredibly weird luck right there. It's pretty rare to get even one. Passive spawn, like, wow, they aren't getting wiped out by the grenade, even with this, this level of might. Oh, mu that must not scale. That's not good. That's not good at all. Not that I'm going to be getting that many levels with Wicked Season anyway. Oh, I'm out of my revives. Did that happen? Well, let's fix that. Okay, they should not be able to stand up to this level of might, neither should this other boss. You went down instantly. Did not last much longer. And with enough kills, I will get enough might, or enough XP to get all my chickens and get some health back. Because who knows how much health I actually have right now. Oh, 1,000 damage hits. That's pretty good. Hey, chicken wave, nice. Coming for 200. Yeah, that was a couple thousand HP, so unlikely that they're gonna break through. Not even sure what I would do for absolute passives and no weapon pickups at all. No, or, well, I guess Orologian, yes. But no NFT. Oh, right, it's down. No grenades, no rosaries. And blow up, good. Should be more than durable enough to make it over to Awake. And I, mean, I guess I could go provoke the other Atlanteans. They aren't that dangerous when they can't get in. And if I get an NFT, I can just burn them to ash instantly with this, you know, 7,000 might. Yep. Heart of Fires doing thousands of retaliation damage, as you love to see it. Oh, 
Now, I somewhat recently finished watching Tex's video about Stanley. Because, you know, I'll agree, Heart of Fire isn't great. You know, they're doing weapons with low damage. Like, you know, most of the ones that get to the benefit of Heart of Fire are. You know, 25 of 100 is a 25% damage increase. It's on every shot. Oh. So, most of the weapons that use Heart of Fire won't scale that well. Sure, if you're doing really late game stuff, then yeah, it's not gonna pull out anything helpful. Even with those ridiculous numbers, I'm only like 38, but something like this. You no. Know, they're doing, let's see, the base damage of a sharp tongue is like 45, so as a comparison, its sharp tongue does pretty high damage compared to other stuff. Oh, wow, well, I have a lot of health gone. Nope, go away. Uh oh. This is uh, a lot. Huh. I need that Arcana Bat. There you are. Let's blow you up ASAP. Hope this is a chicken or something. source. Yeah, there's a chicken. That's 200 health I need. Man, he has not been spawning any of his pickups at all. Kind of crazy overall. Oh, there's another grenade. Where's the Arcana Bat? Oh, I'll hit it there just in case. Wow, they survived a 800 damage hit. They are way too durable on this stage. Yeah, I know I picked it just to show what off, but still, that's so much health. I, and with Awake, this is saved. They are not shooting through over 30,000 HP. There's no way that's possible. Wow, there's still so much to go. Sixteen hundred. Other weapons would be hitting for like tens of thousands now. But when you don't have a choice... And ultimately, it's still 25 damage you didn't have. I mean, what else would you get? Speed? Ha! Huh. No. Never get speed. Unless you're new. And then, still deeply considerate. Oh good, I did hit record. I'm always so worried about that. Did I take off? No, I did not take off. Hurry. Man, it takes forever. You know, up to 1,200, the 6,000 might, only hitting for this low. Give me those chests. Oh yeah, Rondo of Gold is also an option. The skill of Gold is also an option. Huh, maybe a, a build idea for Cosmo. Scale that treasure chest, what? Oh, wait, another... That's like the fourth candy box, huh? Too bad, I don't want any of these. No weapons, no problem. The Simundo Belmont story. And also a problem with that, there's nothing being dropped. Surprisingly high kill count for Dairy Plant, too. Well, that's Divine Bloodline for you. Obviously, without it, this would not have been a starter. Though, we'll see how well he can accomplish things on levels that would be considered lighter on the hardness scale. Hey, chicken. Let's get that. Hey, another light source. That accomplished nothing. Yeah, take it, boss. You weren't going to do anything. You're going to get blown up eventually. No weapons, no problem. Someone who's just walking along, doing his thing, nothing can stop him. You'll need to watch the no move challenge. I don't think it's actually feasible, but maybe Dex did pull it off and I... Well, obviously I haven't watched it. Man, that Rosary did so much. Man, he's 
All our stuff is just not spawning at all. Oh, of course you're here. Oh, well, I have a wake. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna drown the drowner. Come back here, you. Oh, that worked. And these big bowl things aren't even the hardiest mob here. And we gotta deal with that big final robe wave that is ridiculously strong. Yeah. Well, actually, if I get enough of them defanged around me. Oh, defang doesn't trigger heart of fire. They've created the ultimate pacifist circle here. Oh no, something got in. So if I sit here, I mean, eventually they might try to break in. Otherwise, I'm nice and safe. Oh, my death. Oh. oh. Why'd, you, why'd you take all my props? I actually didn't. Oh, dang it. Oh, 37.7 million. That, it, it, so little. But that is no weapons. No actual weapons used to do damage. Let's see what I got in store for the next one. Okay, Simunda will be going over to Moonglo. He will not be doing it with any weapons. He will not be dealing any damage. And he will not carry any weapon pickups. And he will not be affecting enemies in any negative way, like with Curse. So that's going to make this pretty tricky. Also tricky is the fact that even with Grenade Banished, he will still, you know, right there. He will still spawn in with his special ability, so I actually have to be more careful than you'd think. Well, no point in getting the crown. I'm not going to get any XP. Uh, none of these are helpful. I have all the passives I need. I don't want to attract orb. Not tier Jisoo. Alright, so I have five revives. And a bunch of enemies I can't kill. Let's go provoke an Atlantean. Might have been able to do it, but the grenades spawn in. It's actually going to be very tricky to try and avoid. But I still need to move because I can't just tank through everything, especially once it gets to the later waves. And I need as much health regen as possible. I'll probably end up losing more health trying to avoid the Atlantean. Uh, but it's also... No, it doesn't give me any benefit off base, so I don't need it at all. Alright, so, nothing but dodging and moving. Moving and grooving. Mad grooving? No tubing. I, I don't even need a second Arcana. There's nothing else that would benefit me. Their Bondi does damage. I don't want to do damage. Nothing else is helpful. I picked up Mad Groove. Did some tests on that. It was, you know... I mean, what's it going to do for me? I can't break the light sources. Ooh, stay away from that grenade. Come on, you can do it. No weapons, no trouble. This is the best stage to do it because the waves are pretty light overall. Yes. Well, the waves are light. All the pickups are on the map that you would want for survivability. Barrier is still good to grab, so hopefully some of that spawns in. But grenades spawn in even when I banish it is um, not fun. I should post that in the Discord. Yes. I should do many things in the Discord. Many, many things. Crap battle! You can't stop Samundo. The vampires can't stop him. What do you expect you to do, crab battle? Yeah, I just moved, grooved right through that pot. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. Mundo is strongest. No weapons, no problem. Weapons are for other people. I mean, obviously other characters could do it as well, just... Well, no, they couldn't. Everyone has a starting weapon, even if it's hidden. He alone can be the most pacifistic man alive. 
Yavano, the effects enemy, or no, Gal still affects enemies with that freeze beam. That's not pacifism. Can't beat someone half to death with a bat and say you didn't hurt them. Well, Diavano can do it. In fact, I did do it. But he was also invincible. That doesn't count. Demundo. He has troubles. Oh, man. All these pots are actually stopping all the other enemy spawns. Hey, a barrier. I, no, I can't. I can't schmup my way through that. Yeah, I finally remember what the name of that was. Also, it's not really... You know, it's more like sort of schmuppy than schmump. No good grief. I had it, then I lost it. Man, they, they really expect you to destroy all these pots. I'm pretty sure if I just go off screen enough, it'll be spawn the snakes. It'll only be, yeah, crab battle. Oh, I get a barrier at least. No, oh, three crab battle. Come on enough, and eventually you'll drag yourselves down in a bucket. I saw that beast, that ours good entry. That's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Well, this is thrilling gameplay. But at least it's something. Hopefully something. Alright, I need to make that tier list of Operation Gun stuff too right after this. Well, after the third bay video. As I'm finally back up to three a day. That means eventually I will still not make any ground whatsoever on getting this done before the next update or DLC releases. I'm holding out hope for some Sukadan. It won't happen, but I can have hope. Eyes wide open. Okay, I'm almost at 10. Haven't wasted a life. Haven't taken that much damage. Even though these pots are really, really hurting now. Oh, huh. why are they lasting so long? They always last so long you just don't notice it. They just not despawn unless you destroy them. Oh, this is... Oh, there was a power-up down there. I want to... Uh-oh. Okay, that was a bunch of grenades I just barely missed. Oh, well. Oh, about to lose a revive from hot damage, of all things. Who knew that would ever happen? Yeah, the pots are somehow interfering with the spawn of all the other enemies. I guess they really expected you to destroy them. Oh, Actually, this is going to be trickier than I thought. Uh. Oh, boy. A lot of pointless damage taken right there. Okay, now that I was... I don't even know what I was expecting at this point, but it certainly wasn't no enemies. I mean, bosses are, you know, on a different spawn schedule. Oh, man. I only have four more vibes off the back end of this. Uh-oh. Is that a barrier? Okay, it's a barrier. Well, one hit is one hit. So take it. Alright, this turned out to actually be somewhat challenging at the end. That's nice to see. Uh-oh. Oh, they've all desynced their spawns, so... I don't know if I can get them. Nope. You're cutting me off the pass. Inky Blinky and Clyde. Uh-oh. It's always funny reading about the Pac-Man ghost AI. This one is completely crazy and does nothing intelligently. This one will always chase you. This one will always cut you off. This one will do whatever. Who remembers what the fourth one ever does? Oh, it's the fourth one you do know what does. I will chase you. I will cut you off. I will question marks. And I will move about randomly like a drunken cow. Can cows get drunk? These are the hard-hitting questions you asked to get here. Okay, should be able to do it. Only 15 minutes for Moonglow. Yep, there's no weapons, no problem. No enemies hurt. No enemies inconvenienced in any way. Beautiful. Now that's a score screen you can count on. I'm gonna post that in the Discord. Alrighty, what do we got to next? And for our final assault, Simondo will be going no weapons over on the 
boss rash. Now that should be a one for the ages. Oh wow, they still get health from the offhand burst. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's see if Game Killer can keep up. Probably not. Alright, three rolls. Vanishes. Let's max out our stuff and go hard and fast. This is a bad idea. Yep. He's accomplished nothing. 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 Yes, it does something actually. Yep. Oh, hey, a grenade already. Nice. Uh oh. Oh, wow, it didn't actually break them. That's not a good sign. Oh, that was a ton of barriers. Holy crap. Oh. Why are they checking the lanterns so efficiently? Oh, well, otherwise... Get everything helpful. Not... Hey, chickens. Huh. That's odd. Feels like it should be doing more damage than that. Hey, treasure chest, yeah. Alright, we got Game Killer, we got no weapons, and we got NFT. Unlike the second wave, this is all about surviving. So well, let's put it to the test. Why are they surviving so long in level 1? Hey! I got NFT and all these experienced gems punching them up. There we go. That should be enough if this lasts long enough. So we actually I probably should have grabbed. All right, gotta wait to grab that Orologi until I have something to hurt them with. And I want to grab these. Got vacuum, nice. Bit of death machine gun. Boy, they are taking so, so much damage for no reason. Level 1. They, they should be dying instantly. Okay. Boss Rash at level 1. You'll love to see it. Obviously, someone like Queen Sigma would have no trouble doing this. Or any character with a weapon would have no trouble doing this. In fact, that might be a strategy I start doing. They don't scale. They can't accomplish as much as they could. Got a lot of barriers. Shouldn't be using all of these, but I want these Atlanteans gone as soon as possible. Yeah, they're way too durable. There's something going on here. Does increase might, right? Something, something at all. They don't have this much HP. There's no way they have this much HP. Oh, yay, more chests. Alright. Oh, that was a lot of money. Yeah, my starting weapon. Let's go with gold. Healing would not be unwelcome. Yeah, this is way, way too much damage. Even with the health boost they get here. They're still level 1. They don't have that much health. Oh man, I just grabbed all my chickens, didn't I? Not good. Get another boss in here. I get Sarabane out. Oh, I should have grabbed Greed Mask then. Yeah, the bosses don't stand a chance against this. This isn't even a character that's all that great for Game Killer. Oh, then again. Yeah. Mount is a mount. Yeah, there's something funky going on with their numbers. It's been seven minutes of this non-stop blasting from Game Killer with level one Atlanteans. Should be no scaling involved. 
Okay, more stuff. Crack Dwarf is damage, so that's nice. Okay, let's get more bosses in here. They go down really easy when it turns out they have no health. Yep, watch that crab suffer and die. Crab battle? Crab battle. Like nothing actually helpful here for the moment. Oh, well. Way, way more durable than they should be. Uh oh. Oh, if you can't chain it right, you're doomed. That means later bosses are going to annihilate me. And I may not be able to survive the your rune tan wave. I want the boss, it's less durable. Works more on scaling than raw number. Yeah, it's already dead. He's, the rest of it isn't. Certainly hell that the Atlanteans weren't taking up so many dang hits, too. Level times HP enemies don't don't survive much when you're level one. That means actually the Girotan wave is gonna be pretty easy as long as I have some gems to blow them up with. Yep. Yeah, good, they're gone. Finally, geez. That took way longer than it should have, considering they were level one. And I actually have lots of stuff now. Oh. Get tossed, Ender. Get tossed. Eh, shouldn't matter. Oh, I need to save these first when other stuff spawns in. Ow. Hopefully a grenade or something spawns in to wipe out the la the other variants. Ow, that hurts a lot. No, no, no. Dang it. It's like one second off of getting it correctly. Oh, well, no. And it's not gone, it's just fused with Madener again. Yeah, there's Drummer. Curse my eagerness. Well, he's gone. It was still pretty fast, but still. Could have been e easier. Good thing there are bats here. Otherwise, this would be no... Not possible. Oh, man. 12 minutes. 12 minutes would be robot wave. Yep, robot wave. Robot wave is HP based, so they stand no chance here. Yep. And since they drop red gems, they take even more damage. I mean, this is a one-shot fest that they have no chance of surviving. <laughs> Suffer and die, you things that eradicate so many runs. You shall suffer against the weak and dominate the strong no more. Wait, no, that's the exact opposite of what it is, crud. Uh, I should have saved some of the red gems for the Gyo Rutan. Oh, yep, still have some. Alright, so once they start spawning in at 14 or whatever, no. Move to there, that'll blow them up, spawn more red gems, and I can just cherry pick from there. Cherry pick. Make oh, dang Navi. Yep, watch them go. They doom run, so now they're doomed. They're weak, weak level scaling. Oh, I should grab that chest. Watch them fly, watch them burn. Hmm. And they were annihilated with incredible contempt. I didn't pop a revive. 7.3 million on the game killer in these circumstances. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's Simundo Belmont take it down three stages with no weapons whatsoever, and one with no offensive action against the enemy whatsoever. Simundo Belmont is the strongest character in Vampire Survivors. Fight me if you think otherwise. And with the power of no guns and no troubles, Simundo has taken three more levels off of Beswick. 74, 275, 
Even the boss rash can survive past not getting gunned down. Alrighty. I knew it would not be hard, and that blew past my expectations on difficulty altogether. Thank you for watching. I hope you had some fun. Perhaps enough to do any of those like, dislike, comment, or subscriptions people enjoy. Either way, I hope you have a good day and you keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.